The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To find the area of the triangle shown, we use our formula for the area of a triangle, which is one-half base times height. The base of the triangle has a length of 24, but we don't know the height. In fact, we don't even have a segment that represents the height, so let's draw one in. And let's label this segment as H since it represents the height. Next, notice that the original triangle is isosceles since two of its sides are congruent, so the segment that we've just drawn creates two congruent right triangles by hypotenuse leg. Therefore, it divides the base, which has a length of 24, into two congruent segments, each with a length of 12. Now, if we use the right triangle, on the right side of the figure, we can find the value of h using the Pythagorean theorem. And we have h squared plus 12 squared equals 20 squared. Solving from here, 12 squared is 144 and 20 squared is 400, so we have h squared plus 144 equals 400. And subtracting 144 from both sides gives us h squared equals 256, and square rooting both sides we find that h equals 16, which means that we can replace the h in our diagram with a 16. So the area of the original triangle, which is 1 half base times height, is 1 half times 24 times 16. Twenty-four times sixteen is three hundred and eighty-four. So we have one half times three hundred and eighty-four, which equals a hundred and ninety-two. So the area of the original triangle shown is a hundred and ninety-two.